Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd finally give you guys the update that you've been desperately asking for about Murray. Now, Murray broke down maybe about six, seven weeks ago, and it happened very, very quickly. It was not something that I was actually expecting. Pretty much what happened was I turned Murray on, went about 20 meters down the road, and then all of a sudden everything cut out. So like, it was just like the engine just cut it was really weird so I pulled off to the side real quickly and uh, ended up calling our roadside assist and eventually they came and said look pretty sure it's a fuel pump issue because during that time period we tried to you know jump start the motor and nothing really happened so they said it was a fuel pump issue and so we got it towed home took a, about five hours but uh <laughs> got it home and then we were tinkering with it for the next six weeks pretty much so originally we started off trying to replace the fuel pump ourselves and we attempted that and nothing happened like we tried turning it on again and nothing changed which we thought was a bit weird anyway we continue on trying to figure out what the issue is and I um, had a bit of trouble trying to find a mechanic that wanted to work on it. I did end up calling like a call out service and they were pretty useless, unfortunately. But eventually we ended up finding pretty much like a family friend of my partner's and he was able to help out significantly with fixing up the van. And um, yeah, look, it's a pretty crazy story, but pretty much what happened was because we had replaced the fuel pump ourselves, we actually got recommended the wrong one. So my uh, van is a 2001 Mitsubishi Express. It's a carburetor van. So that's the kind of engine it has in there. Um, whereas most vehicles these days are fuel injected. And <laughs> we had accidentally been given a fuel injected one so when they started working on it the van blew up and I wish I could say I was joking but like there was probably flames that it filled the entire cab so the entire front part of the cab just had flames and it was really scary I did not know what to do with myself um, no one was seriously hurt but there were a few crispy hands a little bit just a, a couple of burns because they were working on it at the time but thankfully everyone's okay but uh we were able to salvage him which was really cool so we had to change some wires out because they got pretty crispy unfortunately my uh seat cover got a little too melted in the blaze so unfortunately the seat cover did not last and so I actually got to see what was underneath because I never looked and it was like all like plaster and stuff <laughs> And um, yeah, slowly we fixed it up, tried a couple of different fuel pumps again because we figured out that um, the carburetor wasn't actually the issue, funnily enough. Um, the guy pulled apart the carburetor and he was like, there's no issues here. And so we figured out that the fuel pump was actually still the thing that was playing up. So we tried replacing the fuel pump another two times with the one that was recommended, but the carburetor version and still no luck. So then because that was a, a fuel pump that went into the fuel tank, we decided to do an external one and it finally worked. And yeah, it was, uh, honestly, I did pretty much no work. This is all the work of some amazing people in my life and I feel ridiculously grateful to them. I made sure that they, they were very well loved afterwards. Um, but yeah, I was really worried that Murray was not going to be going again, but he most certainly is. Now I'm going to be doing another video that will be coming out shortly about this, but I have decided to sell him and it's not because of the burn, even though that was kind of scary and the breakdown was a little bit annoying, but, um, some life changes have happened. And so he is unfortunately parting ways with me, but, uh, yeah, I'll talk a little bit more about it in another video, but for now he is up and running and I'd like to thank you guys for being here and helping out in the comments. It really, really helped. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on our next adventure.